Hey everyone, it's day three on our cruise on the Norwegian Joy to Alaska and we are in Ketchikan, Alaska today. So there's lots to do. Let's go check it out. Good morning, it is day three on our cruise on the Norwegian Joy to Alaska and we are in Ketchikan today. It's gonna to be an amazing day. I'm Ken from Northern Viking Explorer. I'm Andrea. And um, make sure you hit the subscribe button because we have a whole week of vlogs coming up that you're not gonna to wanna to miss out on. Juno, Skagway, Victoria, British Columbia. It's gonna be an amazing time. So today we've decided to not join the rush. Everyone started getting off the ship around seven. We knew the buffets would be busy. Everybody's wanting to get off into Ketchikan, so we're gonna head up to the buffet now that everyone has begun to leave the ship. We're gonna enjoy our breakfast and then we're gonna head down into Ketchikan. The other thing is there was a time change last night, so we got an extra hour of sleep. So the ship actually arrived 15 minutes early at 6.45, which was 7.45 our old time. So we're thankful for the extra hour of sleep because we went and saw Footloose last night, the show on the ship, and it was absolutely amazing. And Adria even got uh, serenaded by one of the dancers <laughs> in the middle of the show, so it was a lot of fun. But uh, let's head on up for breakfast. Now looking off the ship, you can see that is downtown Ketchikan. So that's a really nice bonus when we get off the ship and at the pier, we will be right in Ketchikan. And over here, we can see the golden princess is parked in front of us. Having a look at the pool deck here, you can see it's really quiet this morning. I think everybody's either getting off the ship or having breakfast. And on the other side of the ship, there's some great views of mountains. You can even see some of the float planes landing there. Hey, one of my favorite things on cruises is the custom omelets. That's what I'm having for breakfast. So it's almost eight o'clock, Alaska time. When we got here 15 minutes ago, it was busy. Now I'm starting to see a few tables open up. Thankfully, I was able to snag one as soon as the family got up and left. But yeah, a lot of people have the same idea. So. What's that, French toast? French toast, uh, scrambled eggs, got some coffee and orange juice. Hey, if you're interested in a lightweight port bag, we picked this one up that Andrea's wearing off of Amazon for around the $20 range. She loved it on this trip and it folds up within itself so you can just throw it in your bag. It's really small. I'll put a link below in the description if you're interested in that. Also, if you're interested in the Bering Sea Crab Fisherman Tour, this excursion is right next to the ship and really easy to access. So we're gonna head into town and we are looking for the official historic Ketchikan walking tour map. We've been told that many of the stores will hand these out, including Sock Eye Sam's. But before we head inside, I'm gonna get a little hug from the deadliest catch bear, and I'm just gonna hope that he doesn't eat me. Hello. <laughs> they have a sign out front, free walking tour maps inside. So we'll head on in there and ask them for one. And we're gonna do that shortly. But I also wanted to show you some of the great deals they have in here. The prices are way better than I thought. Fleece vest for $16.99. These really nice hoodies, $39.99. And if you want something a little bit less expensive, they even have hoodies for $16.99. Great to bring home with you. You see Alaska, catch a can on there. And if it's really cold, you can grab a jacket for 20 bucks. How can you go wrong? The higher end t-shirts $14.99 or two for $24.99. Hat and t-shirt combos for $12.99. Toques for $6.99. I'm from Canada, we say toques. And don't forget your Alaska Ulu knives for $16.99. Also, don't forget your hot and spicy reindeer meat. So we picked up the free map for the walking tour. It's the same tour that you'll see a lot of people selling, but you can get one of these for free and walk it yourself. We're gonna do the downtown walking tour and uh, go and find all the places that are listed in the map. So this is what the map looks like. Again, you can pick this up in Sockeye Sam's right next to the ship. It's one of the first stores that you're gonna see. Now, if walking tours are not your thing, you can take one of these cute trolleys, which will drive you around and show you all the interesting places in Ketchikan. 
Hey look, there's a second princess ship coming in today. This one's um, docking right behind the Norwegian Joy. So we've got the island princess here and the golden princess that we saw earlier. And here's the Norwegian Joy right in the middle. We're gonna stop in Tonga's Trading Company. This is another great store for souvenirs. This one's really big. We'll go in there quickly. I wanted to show you a couple of things. Hats are $4.99, but if you wanna catch a photo with this big polar bear that's in here, you can do that right there. As well, don't forget to get your bear bum underwear. Everybody needs those. As well as your Ulu knives here are $14.99, so a couple dollars cheaper. Now we've headed out of the store and are walking down. This is your typical jewelry section like every cruise port has. Just like in the Caribbean, you'll find it here in Alaska as well, including the Diamonds International. So taking a look in our walking tour brochure, the first thing we're looking for is the Ketchikan Visitors Bureau. This brochure also has a whole bunch of information on each stop. Here's the Ketchikan Visitors Bureau, but number two, Hey, that's a really cool duck boat. That would be a great thing. But number two is the Welcome Arch here in Ketchikan. Welcome to Alaska's first city, the salmon capital of the world. Number three is the Yates Memorial Hospital built in 1905. And right next door is number four, the St. John's Church built in 1902. And it is the oldest church building in Ketchikan. Nearby, you're gonna find the Whale Park as well as the Chief Kayan Totem Pole. Have a look at this totem pole. Wow, those carvings are amazing. A little further down the street, you're gonna find the Chief Johnson Totem Pole. This is number six on your walking tour. While you're here, make sure to stop in some of the great vantage points of the Ketchikan Creek really cool the rapids are going by as well you might be able to spot a salmon or two it is really beautiful now we are heading over to number seven on our list it is the Tongass historical museum and then we're going to number eight the Grant Street trestle you can drive across this wooden road next up is the water warehouse and creek overlook you can see Andrea's Running ahead of me there, and this is a great vantage point as well of the Ketchikan Creek. It's really beautiful. Number 10 is the fish ladder. So we're gonna walk down here and take a peek to see what this fish ladder is all about. Now they say this is built to help the salmon swim upstream against all the rapids. Number 11 is the Harris Street Bridge. It's a steel bridge over the Ketchikan Creek. And you can see there's people down there just hanging out, skipping rocks. It's a great place to visit. It says, drop a coin, make a wish. You will be happy, a boy can fish. There you go, little guy. Hope you catch some salmon. Catch a can, Creek. Here we are. This is number 12 on your list. And they say in the summertime, you should really look for spawning salmon. Hey, if you're visiting Ketchikan with your kids, they have a skate park here, or maybe you like to skate, um, you can come in here and skateboard for free. Number 13 is the hatchery. You can peek through here and see the tiny little salmon. Really cool. Now we are at number 14, City Park. This is a lovely park with a nice pathway, and I should note there's also public washrooms here if you need to use the facilities. Now to get to number 15, we will need to go across this bridge. We're actually passing another tour group at the moment. Their guide is giving them some additional information about the area, which is a really cool thing to do. But I have to say, this area is gorgeous. It's very green, very lush. It's a very lovely park to visit. Yeah, and another great place to see if you can spot salmon in the Ketchikan Creek. Number 15 is the Totem Heritage Center, and it's right across that bridge. There's all sorts of stuff here, as well as some more totem poles. These carvings are truly amazing. While you're here, we did notice there's a free shuttle as well to downtown. So if you're getting tired, you can try and grab that. 
maybe check it out online to see if you can find it. Hey, number 16 is the St. Elizabeth's Church, and if you look closely, the Ketchikan Mortuary is in the basement. Now we are headed to number 17, the Ketchikan Indian Community. We are beginning now to head back towards the pier, and right here is an IGA, which is super helpful if you want some groceries or some items you may need to pick up. Number 18 is the Sun Raven Totem Pole. You're gonna find that a little bit further up the road. Another great totem pole, cool carving to look at. And from there, you're gonna find number 19, Thomas Street. This is kind of a wooden boardwalk pier area. You can see there's some remnants of some old piers that have fallen down. And then you're gonna find the Thomas Basin viewing platform. And we're back towards the ships here. There's a great view of the marina, um, fishermen coming and going. And then you can see the Island Princess way off in the distance. And there's a new ship there, a Holland America ship as well. So another ship is docked there. Stedman Street Bridge. This is the next one on our list, number 21. Great place if you wanna do some fishing. You can rent fishing poles just around the corner. I'll show you where you can do that in a moment. But cool place to hang out, catch some fish, have some Alaskan fun. On the other side of the bridge is number 22, the Bayside Hotel. It was built in 1927 for the fishermen and the cannery workers. Now I have to confess, this walking tour has turned into a bit of a scavenger hunt for us. I think we've had a lot of fun, would you say, Ken? Yeah, it's been a ton of fun, but some of them are actually a little tricky to find, but uh, we're pushing through. Hey, another Ketchikan duck tour boat, great thing to do here in Ketchikan as well. But number 23 is Creek Street. This is probably one of the most famous spots here in Ketchikan. Make sure you check it out, great shopping, cool boardwalk to look at right next to the Ketchikan Creek. What's this, Andrea? This is the infamous Dolly House. Uh, it's a famous for being a brothel, so uh, yeah. let's talk about fishing. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about fishing. $10 if you want a tour of that. That's number 24. Fishing, tackle, and rod rental is right next to it. Um, they'll take care of lures, licensing, everything right here. You can rent them from them next to Dolly's house. This area in Creek Street has tons of shopping and really cool kind of architecture to look at. There's all sorts of stores in here to check out. You could spend lots of time shopping here in Creek Street. There's a lot of things from nice home decor type items, or you can head into the opal shop where you can check out opals, gold, and all sorts of cool carvings that have a very very Alaskan type feel to it. It's very interesting in here. Mm -hmm. The other thing, if you are into golden nuggets, they've got Alaska's largest gold nugget selection right here in Alaska Silver. If you head on in here, there must be a lot of people buying golden nuggets because it's really busy. Hey, I'm gonna sing for you the Alaska flag song. No, 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 you're no. not singing, no. Okay, no, no. I'm not singing. DM me if you want me to sing it for you. Just no, kidding, no, don't no, DM me. No. Trust me, trust me on this. He's not singing <laughs> okay, it for I'm you. Not, I won't <laughs> sing it for you. <laughs> you can get yourself Ulu knives in here as well. These ones seem to be really high end. They were a lot more expensive. So if you're looking for a high end Ulu knife, you can find them here as well. Hey, the other thing, if you want to send home crab legs, halibut, salmon, they will ship the seafood home for you right here as well on Creek Street. Make sure you spend the $3 and take the tram up to the Cape Fox Lodge. It's really cool and really cheap. You can get some great views from up there. This tram runs right from Creek Street all the way up to Cape Fox Lodge. We only paid $3 a person. We paid the fellow some actually cash. It was a nice ride up and the view is amazing from up here. Yeah, amazing views. I think if you have little kids, especially they'd love this. It's really calm and smooth and it takes you up there. Great views of some of the cruise ships from up there as well. Again, you can see the princess ship there on the left, 
the Holland America one in the middle, and way off on the right, the tail of the joy. I guess it's not a tail of a ship, <laughs> but uh, the, the aft, the aft, the aft. aft of the ship. And when you get up here, they've got some taxidermied animals. You can see there's a bear up here as well. There's a nice restaurant at the front overlooking the ocean. Mm -hmm. And it is a lodge, so it's like a hotel as well. Plus there's a whole bunch of totem poles up here as well for you to have a look at. And if you don't want to take the tram, you can take the Married Man's Trail. Woo! <laughs> it's not that fast. That's fast forward, by the way. <laughs> All right, so back on track with our walking tour. We are at number 25. It is the footbridge. It is the access and the other way to get into Creek Street. It's also a great place to look down at the Ketchikan Creek again. Number 26 is the Ketchikan Daily News. It's just down the road. And number 27, right next to it, is Edmund Street. And it is not a street, it is stairs but we are on this little scavenger hunt, so we'd better head up them. Oh. I don't know if this is worth it. It's a lot of stairs. Okay, if you want to do this, I recommend don't use the elevators on the cruise ship. Start training. <laughs> you, better, you better take the stairs to the buffet every day. Woo. Or don't go to the buffet. <laughs> 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 And now we'll go back down. <laughs> so if you want to work out in Ketchikan, go run the Edmund Street stairs a few times. I did it! I win! <laughs> and number 28 is Main and Dock Street. It is the entrance to the Ketchikan Business District. Number 29 is the former location to the Ketchikan Fire Department. And number 30 is the Ketchikan Area Art and Humanities Council. Right next to that, you're going to find number 31, the Red Men Lodge, Ketchikan's first fraternal organization. And up on the hill, you're going to find number 32, the Burkhart de Brel House. Now my favorite one is the Knob Hill Overlook. There are some great views from here of the cruise ship. You can see the princess ship off in the distance and there's the Norwegian Joy. Bring your camera up here because there are some amazing shots. Now number 34 is the Front Street Stairway. It's built in 1902 and it is my favorite of the stairways because we're only going down these stairs and not going up. And it's going to take us right to number 35, the tunnel. And where are we headed to last, Ken? The last one is Eagle Park across from the tunnel. And this one has a beautiful carving of an eagle. It is really neat. So we just finished our walk of the tour of the historic downtown Ketchikan and it took us three hours. That wasn't any shopping, but it was stopping to take photos and look around. It was a lot of fun and I would highly recommend it, but recommend it, but make sure you practice your stairs first. <laughs> and we are on the hunt for Starbucks collector mugs. As many of you know, we do collect these and we are in luck. They have them at the Starbucks in the Safeway here in Ketchikan. We're super excited. We found our Starbucks mugs and we got our Frappuccinos. We'll show you back when we get back to the cabin. Thank you, Ketchikan. That was a lot of fun today. It was. It is 1.30. We're going to get back on the ship. We have to be on by 2.30. But we're kind of hungry because we walked a million miles today. So let's head on back. As you can see, there are no lineups, so we can walk right on. All right, so we're back on the ship and here's the Alaska mug that we found at the Starbucks here in Ketchikan. The Starbucks is located right in the Safeway. It's about a mile from the ship. It took us about 20 minutes or so to walk down there. Um, and thanks to a tip from the Starbucks here on the ship, they said that the only place they think you might be able to find these here in Alaska on all the ports is the Starbucks in Ketchikan. So um, we wanted to bring some of these home as gifts. So that's what they look like. There's a nice salmon on the front um, and a whole bunch of cool things. It's part of the Bean There series. So 
um, yeah, we did find them here, so that's cool. There was a lot of people there buying them. The people in front of us had five or six in their in their buggy that they were shopping for. So um, they're they're harder to come by than you might think. But uh, if you're here in Ketchikan, go check it out. You might be able to grab one. Time to grab some lunch at the Garden Cafe after all that walking. Happy Canada Day! I forgot to mention it's Canada Day, and they have some stuff planned on the ship. So we're gonna head on down there. I think there's some Canadian food and cake. We're gonna sing O Canada, so let's head on down there. So we are here in the atrium to celebrate. Susie, our cruise director, is a Canadian and she's organized some face painting as well as we're all gonna learn the Canadian stomp, or try to. So we had a great afternoon. We went to the hot tub in the H2O Spice this afternoon as we were sailing away from Ketchikan. It was really nice. The hot tub was actually a fair bit warmer than the other day. So it was really nice. There was more people in it as well. So um, it was busier because it was a warmer afternoon. But um, yeah, and then we went for dinner at, where did we go for dinner? We went to the Saver. We made reservations there and we had a nice dinner. It was the sirloin tonight we had. And then we both had the uh, warm chocolate lava cake with ice cream. It was very delicious. It was really good. And I have to say, the coffee on here is really good. Yeah, it's good coffee. It's like the good. free coffee. Yeah. Not yeah. even the one that you have to pay yeah. extra for. It was yeah. really good. It's strong. It's really, really good coffee. So mm. I, I just can't say it enough when you're having dessert, if you like coffee, make sure you ask yeah. for your coffee because it's good. Now we're off to the comedy club this evening, so um, that's what we're up to tonight. And tomorrow we are headed to Juneau, mm -hmm. Alaska. So we're still trying to figure out what we're gonna do there, but it's gonna be lots of fun and we're excited about that. So make sure you click the subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on the rest of the day's vlogs that are coming up. We had some great times today on that um, tram we went up and just walking around, finding all those historic points in Ketchikan. It was a lot of fun. And uh, making our way over to Starbucks and getting the Starbucks mug. Mm -hmm. So that was a lot of fun walking around. So again, make sure you hit the subscribe button and tomorrow we are in Juneau. So have a wonderful night and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Night!